Thank you, Madam President. Madam President and members, 9.6% of children have lead poisoning. 6.3% in Wisconsin, but 96 in Milwaukee County. If you look at the map and you look at, you know, I, I medically uh, don't know what the uh, 10 UG slash DL stands for, or the 5 UG dash DL stands for, but it basically is the amount of lead that is in the blood. When they do it based on 10, it only pretty much shows Milwaukee. But when they do it based on five, because they show that even when the level is at five, the effects of lead in the system is daunting and damaging. It shows a map that definitely shows the southern portion portion of Wisconsin to be challenged, not just the southeast or Milwaukee County, but also the area that <clears throat> would be those individuals that represent the southwest south, and the center of the state. When you look at the data on childhood lead poisoning, Milwaukee County is significantly higher than the rest of the state. The numbers were so high in 20, 2001 that other processes were put in. And it says that the decline that happened that went from 70% to like a little under 20%, above 10. This decline is due in part to prevention and outreach efforts that have happened throughout the state. Together, we have made great progress, but there is still work to be done to eliminate lead poisoning for all children. Now, I know who lives in Milwaukee, and I don't know, but it seems to me that if we know that is so, why would we want to eliminate testing in places where rehabbing of work in properties is being done when we know that 40% of the properties in Milwaukee have lead. If you know that lead creates the challenge and you know that 40% of the properties have lead and you know that the dust when rehabilitation work is being done is worse than the kid eating the paint. If you know that, what is it really about? It's shameful. Because if it was your kid, God daggone it, you wouldn't even stand for it. So the fact that you can say, because your constituent who gets a contract in Milwaukee can be put in a position to not have to test, but you support life, just not the life of the little black kids in Milwaukee that's being poisoned? Tell the truth. What is it? Yep, that's what the truth is. Now we're gonna say they can test one wall. Really? One wall. You know what the effect is? The effect is Medicaid, health costs, special education, foster care, behavioral issues. 
That's what is real. You can create whatever justification you want in your mind, but the facts and the truth make it clear. We should not be saying that they don't have to do a partial test or a full test. We should not be taking away testing in any way. If anything, we should be increasing it. I mean, you're about to change the whole freaking campaign and GAB because of what happened to Governor Walker, one person. But here's something that affects the life of children. Lead paint, we know it to be true. It's not just little black kids, but it's especially them. We know it's a pipeline to prison. I'm wondering what's coming next? Private prisons? What's coming next? Because you continue to do everything to just create all of the, me all of the mechanisms that help to create permanent challenges for people. If a contractor is doing a partial test and they're upset because they were made to have to do a full test, I just don't understand why our answer is to take away that you have to do a test at all. I know I'll get some lip service that won't ever turn up to be anything because we've d I can't even count the number of bills that we've done, for example, after me getting the lip service of that we were going to do some work on the Criminal Penalties Review Committee and how many bills have come through that have penalties and how many will do today. But those children who are traumatized, who are affect, affected, never, never am I seeing those pieces of legislation. So for the business, thank you for standing up for the business owner who has some challenge, but not standing up for the children who need you to stand up for the poisoning that happens with lead. Because let's be clear, this is the same body, maybe not the same people, but the same, some of the same players are in the room that voted to make it where those companies that created that lead paint wouldn't have to be held liable. When we knew damn well that they had a memo that specifically said that they knew that it would cause damage and that they were specifically sending it into the communities of people of color. And then you made it where they can't even be sued. How dare you call yourselves leaders and now you're gonna make it where people can't even, they don't even have to test when the rehabilitation is happening and you know that dust creates the worst challenges? insulting and sickening.